The aim of this YouTube is to assist in the setting up of on-farm trials, in particular using precision agriculture features of yield maps to record those trial results. Firstly, you need to consider the location of your trial. Ideally, some previous year's yield data or soil survey data enables you to define different production zones within a paddock. Traditionally, trial designs have been located in the paddock in a place where they will pass over different production zones, enabling comparison between these. However, this is often difficult as run lines may not pass evenly through different production zones. One way to get around this is simply repeat the trial in another location in the paddock. This has the ease of location advantage as well as it also allows replication of the trial, enabling you to be more certain about the outcome and hence the yield variation being attributed to your treatment, not just natural variation across the paddock. For example, consider the replication of the trial here in the eastern side of the paddock. Second, keep your trial simple. Large single differences of a treatment, for example double or nothing as noted here, enable the results to be easily interpreted and allowing you to assess the effect of your treatment. Keep in mind the aim of your trial is to give you insight on what is the effect on crop yield of your particular treatment. The incorporation of control strips also improves your trial design. This allows for site trends of yield to be assessed across the paddock. If the trial strips are the only variation across the paddock, then the outside area of your trial, for example here either side, becomes your control strips. However, should your trial strips be embedded in a prescription map, for example consider this example, the variable rate applications either side will add a level of complexity to your trial. By this means, you'll need to embed additional strips of control treatments in amongst the trial. Without these control treatments, slight increases and decreases in yield can easily be confused as treatment effects. Finally, the layout of each trial strip should be at least three header front widths wide. This ensures that there is always at least one header run of yield data that can be used for data extraction and hence results. To ensure your trial strips are aligned with header runs, you can use previous year's yield data to define the trial layout if using a prescription map. Alternatively, you can simply peg and GPS mark in the paddock when you lay the trial down. Finally, ensure that your trial is several buffer widths from the fence line to ensure any edge effect is not distorting your trial results. Farm scale trials will never replace the statistical rigour of small plot replicated trials. However, following these tips, you can help ensure that your farm scale trial can give you meaningful results to improve your crop's water use efficiency.